It'll be one to go this time, bye. Coming to the green, buddy, coming to the green. Let's go get him. Go, 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 take, 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 go, 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 go. Get some motor running. Head out on the highway. We'll now hear from Claire Lang with XM Satellite Radio. Thank you, Greg. I know that you're not the crew chief, but you know a lot about race cars. And uh, today, the uh, number 83 Red Bull team was penalized. Uh, their car chief and crew chief indefinitely suspended for the metal on the car not meeting the minimum thickness. Uh, what's your reaction to something like that? Would that be sort of a shocking penalty to you? Well, I don't. You know, that's difficult to. Uh, you know, I just heard about the. Uh, you know the car today, or the penalties, or whatnot. Uh, I would actually didn't hear about the penalties, but I heard that the metal was too thin. Um, you know, I think that, that NASCAR has over and over stated that that uh, they do not want us messing with this car. That's why they built it this way, is to make it you know tech easier and do all those things. Uh, we've seen people try and get you know spoiler brackets through different trunk lids, um, different fender bumps uh, Hendrix at the road course um, everybody's gotten their uh, knuckles slapped with the ruler pretty hard and I don't know all the circumstances around the metal the thickness and all that what exactly happened if it was uh, you know sometimes they get more upset about a bait and switch you know when they've already inspected it and then you take it home and change it I don't know if that's the case um, you know, I know that, that the penalties can vary depending on case by case. So, uh, obviously, they were pretty uh, upset about what had taken place, and and uh, I think they're putting their foot down and saying, "Don't mess with these cars." Also, I want to ask you, and uh, you know, obviously, you have raced for wins every week. That's just you, and you feel like you can win. Do you r race taking any more chances or with any more abandon this weekend at all, knowing that you know it's tightening up? Yeah, I mean, I have, uh, if I tried, you know, any more at Charlotte, I'd have been backwards in the fence. I, I uh, tried all I could, and I'm going to do the same at Atlanta and the same at Texas and Phoenix and Homestead. I'm going to uh, put it all on the line because, I, you know, r literally I don't have anything to lose, so I have a lot to gain. You know, certainly I don't want to crash the car and, and fall back to sixth in points, but uh, at the same time, we have to beat the 48. We have to get the best finish we can. And uh, I'm going to continue to do what I've done in the first ten, or, or the first uh, of the ten races, and that's try and win. Thanks a lot, and good luck. Thank you. We'll now hear from Robert Duroggi with BRD Broadcast. Thank you. Uh, Greg, a couple of those media people were talking about all the rain delays, especially we've had this year uh, qualifying for a race. And, uh, you know, a lot of the uh, media guys thought that maybe during the chase, just during the chase, uh, like we are now in, that NASCAR should get the qualifying in to sort of even things up uh, during the chase. What do you or what do you think all the drivers would think of something like this? Uh, are you talking about just the top ten drivers qualifying, or the yeah. entire field? Yeah, just the uh, just the. Well, I would say the entire field. That's what everybody was talking about to make it more even during the chase. I understand. Um, I don't know if you've looked at the weather for this week in Atlanta, but they're calling for rain on Friday. Just so, just to, you know, further that idea, um, you know, it's a possibility that we could get qualifying rained out again. Uh, it's a possibility every week, obviously. But the the one thing you have to ask yourself is: Yes, NASCAR could have qualified the cars at Martinsville, and so what we would have done is we'd have went to Martinsville for the weekend. Uh, everybody would have run about you know 10 to 15 laps of practice total qualified and then then race the race so technically we wouldn't have had any practice for the event the only thing we would have been able to get in is qualifying because we only have so many hours in the day and we have to make choices in our life of of you don't have so much time what what is more important or what are you going to do um, and so we would have to qualify the cars with no practice and then just race the 500 mile race on Sunday and that's not really practical to be able to do that I understand everybody wants to see them qualify but um, I just don't know any other way to do it other than go on Wednesday or Thursday and, and, and just in case it's gonna rain I mean there's really 
Uh, it's very difficult. We're backed in a corner. NASCAR's in a very tough spot to try and be fair to everyone. Um, and, you know, with the rules the way they are, with qualifying, you know, if it rains out, starts by points, I don't know any other way to do it. I appreciate your honesty. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. We'll now hear from Rick Minter with Atlanta Constitution. Good afternoon, Greg. I was curious, how much would it mean to you to be the first guy to win championships in trucks nationwide in Cup? Uh, it would be uh, pretty spectacular, I'll tell you. Um, I've certainly uh, paid my dues. I've put in uh, a lot of hard work and effort, and uh, we're, we're, we've got four uh, opportunities left to, to try and close that deal. And uh, it would mean a great deal to me, um, especially being able to do it with the same team, uh, all three series, Roush Fenway. Uh, it would be, you know, all three with Jack and uh, the Fenway Sports Group. That would be pretty special, all with Ford Motor Company, which uh, has been a big support of ours all along and continue to be. So uh, it, it would be a dream come true for me, you know, a, a lifelong goal, obviously, to, to win all three of them, but most importantly, win the Sprint Cup title. Okay, thanks.